so welcome to our channel electronics on wheel just quick reminder to our subscribe our channel hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the little bell that way you will get notified whenever we will upload the new video so let's start the video so as you have requested to make the complete vehicle wiring diagram series so we are here with this series so in this series we are going to discuss the below point as you can see so the first point we will see that how the electrical symbols are used in the wiring diagram in all the automotives then followed by the wire color coding how to use the wire color how you are going to identify which wire is going for which purpose so there are defined functions for which you are going to use particular uh, uh, wires wire color so third one is we will take one sample wiring diagram and we'll try to read that particular wiring diagram based on the symbols and the wire color coding then we will go to the technical aspect of the wiring diagram that where we will try to understand the ground location and topology because once you will understand the ground location then you will be able to find out the particular fault or diagnose it very easily so that is very important uh, part then we will discuss about the fuse box and relay location so of course you should be aware about the fuse box and relay location in the vehicle so that you will be uh, you know when you are diagnosing it will be very easy for you then fuse box details uh, of course we will see uh, how much uh, fuse is going to be used for which particular function so those things also we will see in this then followed by wiring harness topology so in this we will try to understand how many wiring harness are used completely in that particular vehicle so we will take one example of uh, pickup truck or we can say lcv that is uh, uh, so the uh, example whatever we will take you will uh, try to relate with your uh, you know day to day activity so it will be helpful for you then we will go to the system then system wise we will try to understand what are the particular components are coming so starting system we will see how many components are coming and how they are connected so starting system what example i will give might be different for you because you are might be working on different vehicle or different oem so but the concept will remain same that you will be having the starting system you will be having some fuses you will be having some relays those concepts will remain same so we will try to see then charging system engine control system mobilizer cluster and start stop and so on many other systems we will also see so let's start first with the electrical symbol so this is very uh, basic uh, so those who are already aware they can skip this thing but those who are want to understand all the symbols they can continue this uh, uh, video so this is the ground uh, symbol which we used to give so this is the ground if you see here which which is given on the body of the vehicle so this is how you are going to represent in the wiring diagram this is inline con connector uh, representation so it might be different for you it might be different as we have already discussed many times it might be like this one side male one side female then you will be having the switches then you will be having the indicator like this then registers you already know then this would be a symbol of the coil and this side would be the contact or load this would be a diode then you will be having the solenoid control valve or clutch solenoid then transistors already aware then we having the lamps there are different lamps like head lamps or tail lamps many other lamps we will see all the lamps in detail then we will be having the gauges temperature gauge oil gauge all these things we will see then motors permanent magnet one speed motors then permanent magnet two speed motors so these are the symbols for this then we will see here the sensors Th this is the symbol for sensor then turn signal you are um, taking the turn in the left then it will come on the cluster so we will try to understand why we are showing and why we should be aware about these symbols because when you, you are getting those particular symbols on the cluster then they are going to come from somewhere they might be having some connection from one particular component to other component and then only it is showing on your cluster so those connections also we will show 
uh, and we will see uh, in detail then temperature gauge then fuel gauge then this is battery then this is handbrake this is brake fluid then headlamp sorry headlamp then oil pressure then you start stop then you have the engine check lamp then water in fuel then mill so these are the all symbols then you might be seeing here the horn then splice splice is nothing but the joint so those things also we will see then we have the battery symbol so whatever you have seen the uh, in the cluster it will be shown in the then you have the fuse so fuse the here it has been shown because it is old electrical symbols but now you might have seen the fuse symbol is look like this then diode and current flow direction then light led light emitting diodes then capacitor then variable capacitor then variable resistors that is nothing but the potentiometer then two side switches yeah so this is all about the electrical symbols in next uh, series or next chapter we will try to understand the wire colors and then we will try to read one wiring diagram so thank you for your support please like subscribe and comment if you understood the electrical symbol that is the first chapter of this series